nauseating new fella. A nasty little bone cracker title. Old Chief Woodenhead. <laughs> As long as I'm drinking Jimmy's crack corn. And <laughs> hey, you stop that grinning. You've heard me sing that silly song a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, it's time for a touch up, my old friend. The sun's bleaching out your colors again. Now, I'm gonna try and keep my hand steady, but I ain't what I used to be. There. Ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. We gotta keep your war paint fresh. Big Chief without war paint is like, is like... Like a storekeeper without a town to sell his goods to? Martha, me and the Chief been standing on this porch for more than 30 years. We ain't about to move now. I'm not asking you to move, Ray. I wouldn't want to move myself. Well, then what are you asking, Martha? What do you want me to do? I want you to quit, Ray. Just quit. Quit? You mean close the store? Yes, while you still have a little time left to get something out of life instead of always putting in. Martha, this store made it possible for us to get married. This store sent the girls off to school. This store has given us the savings to give to our grandchildren. This store, Ray, at one time sat in the middle of a thriving young town that seemed to have a future to it. Look at it now. The town of Dead River is finally living up to its name. It's dead, Ray. The jobs have moved away. The money has moved away. Ray, it's been four days since you've had a cash-paying customer. It's been four weeks since anyone has given you any money on a credit account. Oh, if you keep supporting these people, we won't have anything to leave to the grandchildren except good intentions. Well, there's worse things to inherit than good intentions, Martha. Good intentions built this country. Good intentions tore this country down, Ray. It's beginning to tear you down. Do you think these people care about you? They'll take your charity until it dries up, and then they'll leave you. You and that wooden Indian of yours. <laughs> I won't dry us up, Martha. I promise you that. It's just that we took a lot of healthy profits out of this town. Just like to give some of them profits back in its time of need. Oh, there's Benjamin White Moon. In his chauffeur driven limousine. Come on, to be nice to him. Oh, I'll be nice to him all right. Oh. Because you want me to be. But don't let him take too much advantage. You're too good to these people, Ray. I should have learned by now never to paint you on a dry day. Yet the hay race, Bruce. Howdy, Benjamin. Yet the hay, Chief Woodenhead. <laughs> the Chief says, Yet the hay. What can I do for you this afternoon? May we go inside? 
Oh, yeah, sure, sure. What can I get for you, Benjamin? I am ashamed to stand inside this place. Why, my people are so much in your debt, race, Bruce. There's no shame for an honest man, Benjamin. Times has been tough for all of us. What you need? Good afternoon, Martha Spruce. Good afternoon, Benjamin. I have brought you this. What in the... What in the world is this? It is the Elinne. Dajachimba. These are the things my people hold precious. Each family has offered one of its most cherished treasures. You will keep them until our debts are paid. If we cannot pay in two autumns, the Elinne are yours forever. No. No, no. There's no way I can accept this. Ate hata hetene. Adone chimba. Wait, Benjamin. Wait. 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 Oh. Now, there's no way in hell I'm going to take these things away from your people. It is a bad thing to borrow. It is a worse thing to beg. While you hold the Eline, we are borrowers. We can still have pride. If you give the treasure back to us, you make us beggars again. Such insult could never be forgiven. Aado eliniki, koshi. Good afternoon, Martha Spruce. Goodbye, Benjamin. I mean, <clears throat> good afternoon. Keep them safe. I regard them with my life. Times are going to take an upturn, Benjamin. I can smell prosperity in the air. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wish that it could be. Ako and Efren. Ako and Oh, Benjamin. I was just scolding Ray. I was telling him that he puts too much trust in people, that they've never earned it and they don't deserve it. Well, you, you and your people have certainly proven me wrong. A coronet chief wouldn't have. to life someday. It'll come back to life. I'll finish your war paint tomorrow, Chief. <laughs> That's a problem.
Go ahead, voice. Take what you want. Wait a minute. You, you just can't come in here. Shut up, White Ice. Just shut the fuck up. Or else I'll have to shove something into your mouth to keep you quiet. Hey, Sam, why don't we shove this in his mouth? <laughs> no! Shove this in his mouth! He big! <laughs> You're disgusting. Sam Whitemoon, you are a disgrace to you. I said shut up, old man. Y your Uncle Benjamin was just here. He's one of the best men I know. Hard to believe the same blood flows in your veins. I guess you don't hear so good shit, face. I said shut up! We're just here to do a little shopping, that's all. We didn't get everything we needed last time we were in. You asked us to leave. Remember, old man? You were stealing things. We're stealing things now. Why don't you ask us to leave, prune face? Yeah, why don't you run us out of town, Sheriff? Ask us nice. Say please. Pretty please with sugar on it. Nah. Is this all the cash you got? That's all. Empty your pockets. Look, I haven't got it. Empty your fucking pockets, asshole. Or I'm going to ask my buddy here to bring me something off the hardware shelf that I can use to slice off your fingers. That's all. When we came in through the back there, I saw a purse. Go get it, lady. Move, lady, or I'm gonna blow off your old man's agobishis! Any cute stuff back there? I'll pull this trigger. Does it work? Yes. Look at this. Look at this, sweetheart. Tell me this ain't a movie star. What are you kidding? Hey, they gotta make me a movie star. Hey, as soon as they see this hair, they're gonna say, Sam, get over here. Get in front of these cameras. There's a hundred million women out there just waiting to run that hair between their legs. Nine years it took me to grow this hair, man. I'm not just fucking around here. I'm going to Hollywood, man. And this hair is going to get me paid and laid. Over here, lady. Over here, lady. Now, I want you to stay right over here. And don't move. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. Hey, you know that movie about the guy that's got, like, these superpowers and shit because of his hair? Then this bitch cuts his hair off, and he gets weak. He gets like an ordinary guy. You know that movie? I'm better looking than the guy in that movie. Don't you think? Here, here, take a look. Take a look! Ah, oh, stop! 
stay right where you are, old man, unless you want to see your lady come apart into the pieces. Sam, there's no cash around here. We got all the shit we need. Let's go. Not yet, rich boy. <laughs> Did you know my buddy here was rich? <laughs> well, his old man's rich. His old man bought my buddy here a firebird, man. A fucking firebird that's gonna fly us all to Hollywood, USA. And one more step and blam! Sam, there's nothing left for us to take. There's nothing here we need. Maybe there's nothing else you need, rich boy. But there's something else I need. Go get your car, Kavanaugh. Get your fucking car, rich boy. We're leaving for L.A. a little sooner than we figured. Hey, Kavanaugh, you run out on me and I'll find you. I ain't running out on you, Sam. I ain't running nowhere. We're all in this together. Yeah, I, I know that, Sam. All right, old man. There's one more little item you'll have to turn over if you want this woman to live. What is it? That bag full of rock candy that my uncle brought over here today. That's it in your hand, isn't it? But toss it over here, and I'll let the lady go. Hey, Sam, what are you talking about? Uh, what do you mean, rock candy? There's $10,000 worth of silver and stone in that bag, man. The keys to the city of Los Angeles. Oh, is that true, old man? Let me see. Sam, you, you, you can't take this. this. This belongs to your people, to the tribe. Oh! I mean, these are treasures that, that, that you people have had for years. If you take these things... Stop it! Holy God, holy Jesus! Go, fat stuff. We got some money that needs spending. Holy shit. Holy Jesus. I've never seen nothing like that before. Yeah. Well, now you've seen it. Now you're gonna forget it. Forget it? That's right, fat stuff. Forget it. We're going to Hollywood, fats. Hollywood. You mean all of us? Me too? I wouldn't leave you behind, fat stuff. Shit, man. I gotta have my slave with me wherever I go. Hollywood. We're out of here. We're out of here, Fatstuff. We're out of here, man. We're out of here for good. No more of this bullshit, man. No more eating dust for a living. There ain't no dust in Hollywood, man. And there ain't no fucking tribe of Tom and Wimpy ass red men, neither.
night. What? Yeah, whatever you say, Sam. We all go home, round up whatever shit we want to take. A rich boy, you pick me up at 11. Then we'll go get fat stuff. How about it, fat stuff? Mister. Cisco, it's me, Pancho. Don't you realize me? There is something vaguely familiar about you, but my, how you have changed. Diablo wouldn't win if Loco wasn't around here somewhere. I look, but I don't see him. Cisco. I still say it's for your own good, Bob. I know what I'm doing. See, why do you want to act so Look stubborn at like this, sweetheart? You know, put it There's no way this kid can miss. Both sides you face it, and we don't like to do that to our friends. Friends, my eye. No. You're not alive, man. You can't be alive.
May your spirit rest, old warrior. Ako ni. Ako. Well, kiddies, uh, that was quite a price for young Sam Whitemoon to pay. 